coming up. Looking good enough to rule the universe isn't easy. Six in the mix, fashion insider Luis Calvedo joins me with his predictions for what gowns we'll see on stage. USA is proud of her work with Project Sunshine, especially the princess parties she hosts for kids. Oh, what a night it was. Wednesday night, Doral, Miami welcomed all 88 contestants to the Miss Universe stage for the preliminary competition. All 88 ladies strutted their best stuff in their evening gowns and in their Yamamai swimwear as well. And this guy here, Luis Calvedo, there's a reason why we call him our six in the mix uh, fashion expert. He has been dressing uh, pageant girls since you were like 16, pretty much. He's dressing Miss Peru uh, this year on stage. I saw Miss Peru. She looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, you also had to dress me. I had the opportunity of co-hosting alongside Miss Universe, Gabriela Eastler. And thank God you put me in a bomb dress. I mean, I'm standing next to Miss Universe, but that was fantastic. Tough job, but you got it done. Louis. It wasn't tough. When you look as beautiful as Roxy, it's not hard to dress you because everything looks good on you, Roxy. Don't, don't, don't be so humble. I know, I know. So I'll buy you lunch later. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I am dressing Miss Peru, and uh, Miss Peru is going to be wearing a gown from La Casa Hermosa. And today we're going to actually look at a few more gowns from La Casa Hermosa because I want to sort of give you a preview of what we're going to be um, what we're going to be seeing on Sunday night. Yeah, let's take a look at this blue one. I did see a lot of the, uh, blue dresses, the bejeweled color. I'm sure would look great on, on on a lot of these ladies, 88 women. But tell me more details about this blue gown that we're looking at. Well, this blue gown, it's all about structure. A lot of girls, you know, they obviously come to Miss Universe with a rock hard body, an amazing body, and they want a gown to really show that off. So you want something with a lot of structure, silk macado, taffeta, fabrics like that really really are flattering to the body and that's why I think we will definitely see a lot of a lot of structure this year um, at the Miss Universe stage on the preliminary stage I saw a lot of white a lot of bling this next dress that you brought us from La Casa Hermosa definitely has a lot of that I could see this on all of all of the, the contestants yes this dress um, is designed by MacDougall from La Casa Hermosa and what I love about it is it has the high slit and at the Miss Universe pageant it's all about you know just really bringing on that wow factor the sexy you're on the Miss Universe stage don't be afraid so I know without a doubt we're going to see a lot of high slits a lot of low cuts yes. because the, you know the girls have prepared all year for this so you will definitely see some some semi provocative gowns but obviously so in good taste you mentioned the word bold I, I can't think what makes a bigger bolder statement than wearing a color like red Yes, well, red, actually, in the world of Miss Universe, red, in the past five years, three girls have won in red. So it's Ooh. becoming sort of a sort of a trend to see the winner in red. So I wouldn't be surprised if this year we see another winner in red. That includes Olivia Culpo, Miss USA. She was crowned Miss Universe in, in a red garnet yes, color. Yes, that is correct. And she's now dating Nick Jonas, and she's always wearing red. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe red works for us. Maybe, for maybe, maybe we need to start wearing red. Maybe. Awesome, Louis. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know you're so excited, as yeah. are we. Of course, the pageant is this Sunday. Can't wait to see. Miss Peru, who you worked with, and yeah. all the contestants on stage. Thank you for giving us your fashion predictions. You're always on. For more on Luis Calvero, follow him on Twitter. He's at Fabulous. Enough said. <laughs>